All right, we got Tyler Jackson and Kyle Hall here, and we're talking about the spring market. So, Kat, why don't you yeah. tell us what's been on the uh, menu? Give us yeah. some, uh, what, what's some of the tastes you've had out there? The, uh, the spring market in Grand Rapids and honestly in all of West Michigan right now, and all of Michigan for that matter. It's been serving up crazy. It's, uh, yeah, it's crazy out here. Um, we, it, uh, it's fairly uncommon for a, for a home that gets listed to, to not have multiple offers on it, like within hours of being listed. It's pretty difficult for any buyer to purchase a home without having to compete for it in some in some way, shape, or form. Perfect example: we just uh, we just got some buyers under contract yesterday, or no, it was two days ago. Buyers that we've been working with for quite some time and had written offers uh, numerous times on different houses over the last year or so, and uh, our would be was it only maybe eight months. And they had lost and lost and lost and weren't able to get one under contract. And then finally, two days ago, we got them under contract after writing an offer that was just insane. Um, you know, so we're talking, I think it ended up being like $70,000 over list price. Um, they had to waive inspections, gave an appraisal guarantee, which we've talked about in other podcasts. Yeah, just really continues to go up and up and up and I mean it's to the point now where both Tyler and I are uh, listing our homes for sale and, and moving here in the coming months so I think that really proves it to people I guess Tyler I guess if you could expound on it if if the realtors are selling <laughs> it's probably time to sell as well we're so, and, and not only that but um, this is something Tyler and you and I have talked about quite a bit is that the the uh, interest rates on mortgages are so low right now that not only will you you know probably do really well on your sale but when you buy you're going to get one of the lowest yeah one of the lowest interest rates that um, America's ever seen you know so well and that's where I've seen like oh they've been whipping up uh, you know 90 showings on places with this spring market yeah they'll have multiple bids yeah that was that was a pretty crazy one going that we had. 50 60 thousand dollars over list this yeah. is how do you comprehend this stuff so what do you think what do you think's happening in grand rapids to drive this up because i've heard of, i've heard we're becoming like a big city and our prices are just catching up to the big city and that could be um but we're here in this kind of, when Texas, someone told us it's not uncommon for a house to go $100,000 over ask yeah. price. Yeah. I've got a good friend that we listed his house and what was it, last year, and um, he did really well on the sale, and then he sent me a text just, uh, then they're trying, they moved to, to Texas and um, are trying to, to buy out there now, and he said that it's not uncommon for homes to go hundred thousand dollars over this price. It's like what on earth? Yeah, and it's I honestly think it's just the perfect storm of insanely low interest rates. Grand Rapids is you know has its uh, desirable qualities that people want to move here for. Um, I think honestly, it's in my opinion, it's the best city in West Michigan. I mean, it, honestly, it's kind of the only. It's Big the city biggest in West city. Michigan, you know? Yeah, it's the biggest you've got, city. You've got Muskegon and Grand Haven and Holland and places like that, but nothing, you know, not the skyscrapers and stuff. Big city feel that Grand Rapids. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the 35 story. <laughs> 35 skyscrapers. skyscrapers. <laughs> well, I mean, that just goes Woo! to show. That just goes to show, right? Is West Michigan is not known for its big cities, but if you want a, a city feel, I think Grand Rapids is really the only place that has it to offer. Yeah. So, in in this market, what are you seeing as ways to win? Because you predominantly work with the the, the yeah, buyers. I work on the selling side, and we kind of we, we fuse our talents together. Yeah, it's a good way. Yeah, you know, and we really try hard. Buyers, what, it's. Um, I'll tell you, this is what I'm seeing: the appraisal guarantee, the biggest yeah, thing. That's. I think Tyler, you said something um, a week or two ago that really. I think nailed it on the head. It was basically that you could you could write an offer for a million dollars on a hundred thousand dollar house, two hundred thousand dollar house, but that it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, the house is going to sell for at least what it will appraise for. And so and what and what 
again, this is where the appraisal guarantee kicks right. in. So if it's a hundred thousand dollar sale, let's see, say, I'm going to go up to one fifty, um, but I'm only going to give a ten thousand dollar appraisal guarantee. What you're essentially saying is all I can afford is one ten. Right. You know, going up to one fifty in the seller's mind is an impossibility until you can put down that appraisal guarantee. Right. So and, that if the and that's an overly to... simplified. But that's the best way to understand it. Yeah. I think that's probably the biggest decisive factor. And I believe we talked pretty extensively about appraisal guarantees um, on our last podcast, didn't we? Was that our last one? Yeah, I mean, we're probably going to be talking about this yeah, uh, extensively. Because this is a this is tough for people to understand, I think, sometimes. Like this real, very real possibility that if the house only appraises for 100 and you have a $10,000 appraisal guarantee, you're paying another ten thousand dollars out of pocket. Right. There's no negotiations at this point. Right. Right. That's what once you, you put, put down. Yeah. Once you put that appraisal guarantee on paper, it's not like, not like you can say, "Oh, never mind." <laughs> you know, right. You're locked into it. You know. Right. 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 So. so, what else? I see waiving inspections. That's another big one. Yep. And there are there are things, um, like we talked about previously, where you can, uh, you know either bring an inspector with you to your showing or maybe bring like a family member or friend um, who is maybe in the building trades or something like that along to a showing. Just it's to give you a little assurance. Right. It's not going to be, you know, you're not going to get the same level of, of uh, service or, or uh, the same product that you would if you were actually able to do the, uh, the full inspection. But at least you can have something to give you some peace of mind about your purchase. So these these you know two things really help in winning. The other the other thing you can do is get yourself in the right place financially. Have a good down payment. Be ready. And then if you have to sell to buy, this is where we can really shine. This is this is tricky stuff. Uh, if you don't know how to put together the timeline and, and get the lender set up and all these things, it can be. Um, a ticking time bomb for disaster. You know, that can, honestly, that can be another um, huge piece of the puzzle, too, is you brought up lenders there for a second. You know, if it, if an, a have a good war, lender. If a bidding war is, is neck and neck, you know, if, if you have two very similar offers that are at the top competing against each other, the lender is going to make the difference, I think. Wouldn't you say, Tyler? Oh, yeah. If you're looking at, um, you know, two very similar offers, if, you know, say they're within a thousand bucks of each other, and one is using a very reputable lender and another is using Quicken Loans, you know, <laughs> it's like, which one are you going to go with, you know? So the lender does count. We, we recommend local, strong reputation because not using that can, can mean the difference between not getting an offer. Right. Accepted because sometimes these these ones do so badly. I've seen deals almost not happen or not happen. Yeah. So I mean, there'll be we've gotten pre-approvals from lenders before where the lender literally just gave the buyer didn't check verify uh, credit or, or income or anything, right? Yeah, yeah, and they uh, and it's just, the deal the was dead. The deal was dead before it was even started. Vision and everything got going. So, okay, this is what we're seeing. If you have more questions or you need help with your house, give us a call, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.